countries ease in trade negotiations with the European Union. President Donald Trump says he plans to delay tariffs on EU auto imports by six months. Farm groups were worried about retaliation, so it is a bright spot, especially since agriculture continues to be a point of contention. As trade talks move forward, U.S. lawmakers say Europe must come to the table on agriculture. I'm also very supportive and have been advocating as much with Congress and the administration and others that uh, we better have ag in the deal, and I'm, I'm hearing that echoed back, so I think we're in good stead there that if there's going to be a deal, ag has to be a part of that. For the past two decades, Europe imposed countless non-tariff barriers on American ag. We've been flat in our exports of ag to uh, Europe for some time. Theirs continue to grow. Tell me whose court the ball is in. Lawmakers say the double standard is impacting American ag sectors like poultry, crops, and pesticide regulations. Our opinion is that for agriculture and pesticide use, all we really need is vinegar, milk, and beer. This situation is extraordinary, in, in my opinion, and it has really surprised me in my time in this position of how obstinate and how backward-looking folks in Europe are with regard to agriculture. Moving forward, U.S. negotiators want a fair and reciprocal trade relationship. We want to engage. The EU continues to say they will not engage. And so something's going to have to break loose, I would say, more on the EU side for us to get there. If we don't stop and realize, or they don't stop and realize, that there is a great deal to be gained from a very strong relationship with the U.S., um, this is not going to be a pretty picture for some time to come. Trade between the U.S. and the bloc make up one of the world's largest trade investments, totaling $1 trillion. With a significant relationship at stake, negotiators hope to get it right. And as we have previously reported, the U.S. Trade Representative's Office is looking into potential retaliation for an ongoing dispute on EU aircraft subsidies. The National Milk Producers Federation says it does support 